Well, I don't, I don't know if I'm getting into spoiler Ooh, territory spoiler. here. Can I, can I say anything that possibly gets into spoiler territory don't say here? Say anything. Spoiler, please. I'm Ewan McGregor. My name is Hayden Christensen. My name is Moses yeah. Ingram. I play Anakin Skywalker. Yes. I play Reva Sabander. Yes. And I play the part of Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, okay. Jedi Knight, never a Jedi Master, uh, turned Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith. I am an Inquisitor. I would call myself the Inquisitor, actually. A very complex yeah. character. Yeah, he has a strong sort of desire for power. Fierce, fiercely intelligent and very quick on her feet. Someone who is always listening and intent on doing what she thinks is right, even if no one else agrees with what it is that she's doing. There's also a lot of inner conflict uh, and there's there's certainly a an inner sort of struggle yeah. of identity <laughs> tell us about it i was living in vancouver yeah, at the time vancouver. i was renting an apartment with a, a good friend of mine he knew that i was up for this role and i was i was going to be finding out soon i got the phone call when i was still in bed actually i remember coming out of the room just like an ear to ear grin on my face and my roommate looked at me and he was like is that you know is that smile what well, you know what i think it is and then so i i i lit up an imaginary lightsaber you know <laughs> and immediately he got it. And then he ran over to his record player and he had a, a Star Wars soundtrack and he put the Star Wars soundtrack on and then he lit up his imaginary lightsaber and we had a whole oh lightsaber battle as we were laughing and jumping all over the couch and apartment and it was, That's it was uh, story. very that exciting. That is exciting. Time. Yeah, it was an amazing time. I mean, I, I'd, I'd been working with Danny Boyle and I did a film with Greenaway and I'd, I'd done a certain amount of work in Britain and I very much felt like I was in a moment in British cinema and, and Star Wars was definitely in a different lane. I, di I did a lot of thinking about it, a lot of research, a lot of speaking to people I knew and uh, trusted about their opinion about it, whether it, it was the right thing to do oh. or not. And then the closer I got to being cast as Obi-Wan, the more I wanted to do it. You know, I was such a great fan of the original films as a child and I felt like I just wanted to be part of that. If I could be part of that, then I would want to do that. I I don't think I said anything actually. It was like one intense, really long week of auditioning and then we got to that final Zoom and I thought I was gonna have to do something else and Deb told me I had the job and honestly, I think I probably was like, okay, thanks. I think that's how it went. By the time I actually heard about it, I was stoked, you know, it was a, it was a great experience. It was different from anything I'd done in terms of its scale. I got to work with Liam Neeson and Ahmed Best and Natalie Portman and I had a great experience, you know, making those oh. films. You're so good though. On the original films, it was the technology, the fact that we did so much of the filming on blue screen and green screen, there were certain challenges with that. The fact that there was so little of the environment there. In episode two, for instance, I spent a lot of time with some tall <laughs> alien people who weren't really there. So that that was that challenging as for an actor to make that all realistic. Well, this one required a lot more athleticism than anything else. We did about four months of training before we ever even hit the stage to start acting. And so it just took a lot to pull everything together in that way. I always had a tough time not making the lightsaber sound effects when I was when I was doing my lightsaber ah. scenes. Just because you're you're sort of it's like muscle memory from being a kid. I always have the the acting challenge of like playing a younger Alec Guinness and that's my great joy in doing this is to is to feel like I'm moving towards becoming yeah, Alec Guinness. Very you know, that's always what I'm trying to it's do. True. It's not easy either, I guess. Well, uh, it's difficult to p pinpoint a favorite scene. Some of them are so long ago. Oh, I, it's, it's, it's really so long hard ago to pick just them, one. There were a, a number of scenes that were very memorable. Working with Hayden again was a great pleasure. To be coming back with him after so long, since we, you know, 17 years after we finished 17. episode three, was uh, was great. The first scene that we shot on the very first day, it was stepping off of our ship, and I remember thinking to myself, "Oh my God, this is." This is huge, and there were like air cannons and so many people. And I think my first thought was, "Don't, don't oh, mess true. this up. <laughs> don't mess this up." At the end of, of episode three, when the Darth Vader helmet comes down and he's officially encapsulated in the suit, that for me was was a very yeah, big it moment. Was. And I, I remember that very well. Our costume designer, Sudarat, did such an amazing job building that costume. It sort of just lends itself to making you stand in a certain way. I felt 
bold yeah, and I felt strong and I felt like the leader that Reva is. At the time, it felt like sort of completion for, for my journey with the character. You know, I was playing Anakin and then when he becomes Darth Vader, that's sort of, right? Um, but now I've gotten to come back and continue my journey with the character. But at the time, it, it, it signified that my, my job was done. Uh, Little did I know. Now you are going back. Redo it. <laughs> Probably the biggest thing is that it already has millions of fans. And I think the thing that's daunting is that whether people like it or not, I'm absolutely going to hear about it. And that's scary. That's scary. I don't know that it's, it's changed my view of Star Wars and this character as much as, as it's just sort of further informed the story and these characters. And that was kind of what was, was really a appealing about it for me was that we were given the opportunity to, to sort of flush these characters out just a, a little bit more. It's also super exciting to be joining a project in which I don't have the same things to live up to as you and and Hayden yeah. do. I am coming in as somebody who's never been here before and so nobody is looking for me to be something specific and I sort of have free reign to be who I think Reva is. Getting to come back and play Darth Vader and this sort of the notion that we were going to get a glimpse into the experience of being Darth Vader, I thought that had a, a tremendous amount of value. So it, it's really just been about further informing these characters. I, I felt has been sort of very satisfying. You know, really I funny. wasn't a big fan of Star Wars before this. I knew like the cultural pinpoints like Vader, uh, Luke, I am your father, Obi-Wan, those things. But I think what I've appreciated is the depth of the world that George Lucas built and the escapism it provides so many people and provides myself now. I've been very, very happy to join the universe. <laughs> She's really nervous about her character. The volume is, is just a, an amazing bit of technology. The approach to working in the volume is much different than filming in front of a blue screen or a green screen. I never had to pretend uh, or imagine where I was. Ewan and Hayden sort of were used to like green screens and tennis balls. I feel really blessed that I could just walk in and be in whatever environment I was in. You're, you're totally surrounded by it. And it's incredible. <laughs> you step into the volume and you're in Star Wars. You can never really see sort of where it ends because it's so vast. I think that was probably one of my favorite things about working on this oh. series. It's quite the experience. If I could meet one Star Wars creature, who would it be? Well, I'd like to meet Jar Jar again. I guess I'm going to go with Yoda just to see if I oh, can yeah. get some of his wisdom. Maybe some of his knowledge might, might rub off oh, on me. Baby, I loved baby. working with Ahmed Best who played Jar Jar Binks. Maybe we could bring him back. Ah, oh. that was like a really good interview. Whoa, he's like Hayden Christensen. He's it he is. He's really laid back. You can see it in this interview because you know he's been out from this industry. Like he's living his life quietly. I heard like he's a farming or something. <laughs> now he's back after all this time, and he's like uh, he looks like all his interviews sounded like he's like. I know, I'm trying my best. He, I guess he's not trying to get into this excitement or this pressure. People are, you know, it's so exciting to be back. Same time, it is very nervous. <laughs> However, Ian McGregor, he's always uh, very charming in all his interview. I'm, I really like first two episodes. Uh, I do see some people are not happy with the episode two, but I really enjoyed that so much. I really like so far, where the story going? I, and I can't wait to see episode three of Obi Wan Kenobi. And that was my reaction on this. Let me in the comment. Uh, did you like this interview? I thought it was really good. And if you enjoyed about this reaction, don't forget your mother's reaction. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.